Welcome back to the Reggie's Podcast. Here with three blokes. Could have been anything, but decided to have fun instead. Action-packed again today, boys. We've got cricket being played all over the world and mm. also domestically here in Australia, men and women. Um, Six Nations rugby was on over the weekend in the UK, France and Italy. We'll touch on some uh, NFL, AFL news or more what's to come on our end in the coming weeks uh, as we kick uh, fully into preseason. Yep. Tommy, still down in Bris Vegas for the time Fucking- being. Itching to get home, boys. But, yes, I'm still here. But we've got him remotely again. We had some good reports back, yeah. actually, um, about how people didn't even know, would not have even known that you were not here. Yeah, well, look, shout out to VT. We've got a few people who know what they're doing, surprisingly, behind the scenes. So I've always <laughs> been a bit – I've never liked the sound of someone on the phone for an hour long on a show, so I've wanted to make sure, obviously, we didn't do that. So yeah. it's good that they liked what was going on. Hopefully it's not a thing that happens all the time, but it's cool that we can still make a fucking show happen and it sound good, eh? Bloody oh, oath. Yeah. It, um, on that, I listened to a, uh, a racing podcast. I haven't listened to it for a while, actually. Won't drop it, but that audio on that, I just – I don't know how I listened for so long, but there's about four or five of them and they're all remote, like none of them are in the same room. Yeah. And I have to turn it on max volume to just hear one bloke and then someone laughs and nearly blows my oh. eardrums out. <laughs> mm. So worst. shout out to us for yeah, fucking yeah. not Makes doing that. you appreciate us a bit more. <laughs> Reggie's podcast, A-grade audio. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you got something to tell us? Have you done? Oh, what? <laughs> have I got something to tell you cunts? <laughs> I went and fulfilled Jackson Rush's fucking dream today. I went and got the Queensland We Get It tattoo in the exact same spot on the back of the calf. I got a yabby pump, but that's that, Jackson doesn't give a fuck about that, and this is all about Jackson today. So I went in there. He even put a post on the RLC just in case I forgot that I was booked in to get a tattoo <laughs> yeah. today. Forgot your appointment. <laughs> yeah. So that was good because I nearly forgot and then went in there, got it done. And, look, I just want to say, Jackson, that it's very impressive, mate, that you've stuck to your goals, you've chipped away at it, and it's happened. So now use that same energy to do something important in your life, not get another man to get a tattoo. Well, guess so what? What? You have just led that perfectly there because Jackson Russ posted in the RLC yesterday <laughs> about yeah. raising money for mental health by there growing that filth of a mullet that he's got. Great stuff, mate. That well was done, Jacko. That's Fuck. it. That was perfect. That's, yeah, that's that what I'm saying. Use, that. use <laughs> the fact that you've just got me to go and get permanently marked from harassment and <laughs> and put it towards something good. And you are. He so has. well done, Jacko. You're a sniff for captain, mate. We will. Um, stuff. The Reggies will definitely be uh, donating towards the cause. So let's all oh, get behind sure. him because it is a Filth mullet. It's disgusting. It's fucking rank. It's so, disgusting. Get around it's for a good cause. And he's put in. He's put all the details on there of what's going to happen if he gets to a certain amount. He's going to fucking um, paint it blonde. If he gets to another it. amount, he's going to do whatever color we want, or you know, a put yeah, a maroon. up. So yeah, good on yeah him. get behind him. Good stuff. Good shit. Uh, Slowy. Before we <laughs> before we move any further, boys, the boring ones. Oh, 8th yes. of February, two days, uh, sorry, tomorrow when you're listening, because um, mm. this is our first ever Wednesday morning release of it an is. episode, because yeah. this is the debut week of splitting the show in half, but four in ones, 8th of Feb, so tomorrow night, 6pm Queensland time, don't fucking miss out, we've teamed up the standard squeeze, we've got the personalised Reggie four in ones, so fucking get around them, go to reggies.com.au. Four different uses. You would have heard us ramble. Four yeah. uses, one cup, fucking get one. It's just simple as that. <laughs> Something you really don't want to miss out on, is it? Nah, you don't. Yeah. You just don't. You and you'll be teased. You don't want to get teased. All I actually. Like, oh, didn't you get one, man? Oh. I actually yeah. can't. Um, every time I don't have it now and I'm drinking like in the sun, I just go, I get so mad. You feel lost. Your, beer, your beers go hot. 
Yeah. They dead set, go hot that quick, up, up here especially in the humidity and that. Should probably drink them faster. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, yeah. you made a good point. Imagine rocking up to a function and all your mates have got the Reggie's four and one having a laugh and like, oh, what is that thing holding yeah, your drink? What a fucking drink? loser. What like, is that? Don't be the outcast. <laughs> yeah. What is that yeah. mainstream brand of cooler Boys, you've got? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, like, I don't want to be like every other county who starts a show with, fuck, I know how's the weather been, boys. But, like, <laughs> went to the Hamo with the one and only Barb's your Brizzy Horse. Yeah, I see oh, that. Yeah. Was great catching up with a good mate of mine and ours. <laughs> it was excellent. Mm. And, but, mate, I'll tell you what, that joint is a fucking like a zoo for people. Well, that it, fucking it's makes sense why it's his local. Mate, I steamed <laughs> out there and, like, we were drinking these big-ass jugs of piss and they were going hot quick. So a good piss head always comes up with a solution. So instead of going inside in the cool, so he can just pound analogs yeah. one after the other, yep. he just gets a schooner glass of ice, pours one out and drops her in. So it bobs oh. at the top and keeps it cool. Fuck how off. That how's is, that for a bit of Reggie that ingenuity? Is fucking Reggie oh, engineering. That, he would need that too because, oh, one, mate. I've never had one of these jugs, but I know how much they cost because he's told me that many times, $11.90 mm. <laughs> on yep. certain wow. days, uh, and he just pounds durries. So <laughs> he does. He's mate, you should have seen it. We, we went out there and I was just fucking, you know, taking in the environment, and <laughs> this chick – come peeling around the corner, right, sporting two black eyes sort of hidden behind a sunnies, but you could see they were very dark, like she's been – The big raccoon eyes. Yeah, she's she's got a bit on. She had a pizza box and she goes, I only can't want a pizza. (laughs) And I went, nah, 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 I I don't want one. And everyone else is like, nah, no pizza. She's walking across the front of us all like we're offending her by not taking it. And she just goes, no, I can't. No, I can't. Want a pizza? And we're like, no. And she's just discussed it at us. Oh. Hit, the front, hit the front rail and landed down. I went, what the fuck's going on there? And then I thought, no wonder you got two black eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking oath. She obviously <laughs> wants hurling bloody. pizzas. Yeah. And she's just peeled around the corner and I went, right, shout out to the hammer. Yeah. So there was that. And then these other lads, mate, who were around the corner, it was proper funny, dressed in high vis, little singlets, run out. Like they would have probably weighed 200 kilo between five blokes. Probably one set of teeth between five cunts. Like I'm talking off guards. What do you reckon and, their op- occupation was? I don't know, man, but they were like, I called them the tweaky blinders because they were like, this one cunt had like the pinky blinders hat, but he, yeah. Uh, so uh, it, it was a great, you know, you all know how much I love people watching. So it was great to yeah. catch up with my good mate, Barbs, meet a few of his mates, see his locals, see some absolute specimens and um, get stuck into a few beers. Sounds but, like a field day for you. Well, I told him Barbs. that the... Um, I, hold it, I told him that the day would be on us, so I said take him to the Brecky Creek and you've ended up at the Hamo. So. Well, look, mate, it's it's about what Barb's wants. I think he loved being able to just stumble home. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. There's probably a so, magnet, a Barbary magnet inside the Hamo as well. It just <laughs> on the draws him in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but no, it was good, mate. It was uh, it was good seeing the legend. Yeah, good stuff. Mm. Awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been up to, boys. Like, did a bit of that. Um, been running around today. Beck's going good. We'll be back on the road tomorrow, ready to sit in for our first fucking yeah. episode so, in the new studio. That's sort Fuck. of what I was going to touch on is that the new studio is ready. Quino and me did the sound check on it last week. It's fucking ready. We would be in there today to sort of go bang. Here's the first week of the split shows, but. Jason and I absolutely refused to go in there without oh, time. boys, so. you're making me <laughs> yeah. fucking tear up. There was no way we were going to do it and then have the seat missing, you know. Fuck no. It's, uh, as so, horny I am for that studio, <laughs> yeah. won't be popping its cherry without Tom. Studio, new one on Thursday. Oh, sorry. We'll be in there Thursday, but you'll be hearing it Friday morning for our mm. first ever fucking horse racing slash punting show. Fuck. Oh, Unreal. Um... Let's get into our sport work, eh? Unless you've got anything else. No. Nah. Um, I just wanted it. to touch on the NRL AFL. We've been very, very mm. quiet on it for a reason too. Because yeah, for a good reason. It's going to obviously be 
the main, uh, I don't know, part of the show, I guess. So we're still going to be hammering the cricket and the UFC and the boxing and um, anything that sort of pops up. But the obvious ones to go to is the NRL AFL. So we didn't want to start too early, you know? No, we wanted to and give the cricket as much time as possible. We're a sports fucking show too. We're not just footy. Yeah. yeah. So and plus we'll I reckon everything. like... You, you leave yourself a couple of weeks. You can really have a couple of full-on episodes that cover the main talking points of yeah. the preseason stuff. If you start five weeks out, you end up repeating yourself fucking five episodes in just so yeah, you have something right. to talk about. So I think we've nailed it. We'll start talking when it's really exciting times coming up. Everyone's fucking pumped. Yeah. That'll preseason be games are about to start. We need to do our oh, yeah. pumped as fuck. start of season predictions like we did last year. Yeah. So this is the time where it starts to warm up. Like you said, we've yeah. nailed that timing because you don't want to sound yeah. like a broken record player. Yeah. No. And, hey, there's podcasts out there that obviously that's their whole thing is doing it the whole off season and talking about trades and this and that. And that's fine. But we're Reggie's. We are. Mm. And we, we love cricket. We, we love sport. Love in general. <laughs> we love sport. Um, but we do have the World Club Challenge. 24th of Feb, over in Wigan. Fucking heard fuck all about it, to be honest. Yeah, I tried much. to even look it up sort of today and get well, a bit look, of info uh, on it. And it was it, like articles from December and shit. And I'm going... If I'm, if I'm going to be honest, boys, like, Pommy Carr might get fired up for it, but... Like, and I'll do a bet with him, but to be honest with you, I could not give a flying fuck about that compared to the new season, all the shit that's going on sport and wise here sort of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah, that that is true. Um, in saying be that... be interesting to see, but yeah. It's going... I just hope, like, it's going to be, what, 24th of February. It's Let's say it's middle of winter. It's not. It's coming to the end of it, but winter goes for about five months over there. Yeah, it's a long <laughs> time. Ours goes for two. Here and theirs goes Barely. for about five. <laughs> it's like our summer, we feel like it goes for four or five months sometimes yeah. with the heat. Theirs is the opposite. So, 24th Dark of Feb, cold. she's going to be a cold, wet night in Wigan. Oh. <laughs> they will oh, not yeah. be expecting that, the Panthers. But, and what you got to, what you got to think about too, Groves, is that like, <laughs> um, I think I saw a thing from the Roosters saying that they asked for their players to be excluded from the Maldi uh, Indigenous All Stars game. The Roosters and, have. And they, they well, I saw something that they got knocked back. Like they put in a thing to say, "Can we be excused?" Because you got to think about those couple of one-off games. As much as we love it, and I love it, I love watching any sort of footy or rep footy. Think about the whole preseason, right? you're putting in for this season and you go do a club challenge and fucking one of your main players gets busted for four months and you go, what yeah. the fuck was that for? Yeah. Isn't in, the club challenge, correct me if I'm wrong, is it not one of their preseason games though? The classes are one of the two games? For the Panthers? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but that's what I mean about your, all your guns though. Yeah, like normally yeah. you wouldn't play you all your guns. You don't play full nah, strength a week out not. of the first round. And it's round, not, yeah. your preseason games aren't, they're, oh, they're definitely not as physical. No Obviously, way. as you round one, whereas going over there playing Wigan in that, they're fired up for it. It's going to be obviously well, it's a, huge a tough for game. Yeah, they're always like the blokes underdog. like normally blokes like Cleary, Fisher, Harris, fucking um, Toto, just just the dudes who uh, week in week out done it for years, have three premiership rings. Yeah. Normally, they aren't playing a fucking preseason game. That's right. Nah, not they they got might the, play one. Yeah, they've got the seasons in the legs. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but anyway. Wigan are looking for a record equaling fifth World Club Challenge win. Really? While Ooh. Penrith are looking for victory number one in four attempts. Yes. Yeah, right. I do. Yeah. They lost last year to a field goal, didn't they? Yeah, it was a good game, actually. St. And Hills. it was at, in Penrith. Yeah. But, no, nah, look, like you say, it's definitely not a thing where... People, uh, clubs are going, fuck yeah, this is on our mantelpiece, you know? Like, yeah. It's not it's a, a. Well, not from here anyway. Like, it might be a thing in England. I can't speak on behalf of them, but I'd, I honestly don't think anyone in Australia is trouting about that trophy. Yeah. The idea of it's cool as well. It feels like it should get a bit more attraction, mm. but I feel like the way they do it and it's just before the start of the season, like you yeah. said, and the risk of injuries and that. And it's travel as well. Yeah. You're going over the fucking Europe, it's 26 hours of flying in total. Yeah. It takes yeah. a toll, jet lag, everything. Yeah. So it's kind of the in way theory, it's formatted. Yeah. yeah. In theory, it's in good. In theory, it's a great idea. If they, if their season exactly lined up with ours, you'd, do it, you'd try and do it at the end or yeah. something. But 
then it's hard because it's the two grand final winners and there's absolutely no way that they're not going to send it after the mm. GF win. Yeah. <laughs> so Imagine yeah. that. Boys, boys, I know you just won the grand final. Well, it's like it the Q Cup week. and the New South Wales Cup, right? They do a game a couple of weeks after, don't yeah, they? Yeah, on grand final grand day. day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is normally about a week or two after they've just been <laughs> silly. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. Well, rugby league players as a whole tend to just sue no matter yeah. what week it is. Oh, that's so. a crack. Yeah. Fucking oath, man. But yeah, it, like, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll still watch it. But yeah, it's just one of those ones that it's not like I'm like, fuck yeah, World Club Challenge coming up. You know? Yeah, that's right. And it would have been a bit easier last year when it was at, at Penrith. Like yeah. it was on Sunday Arvo, yeah. Sunday Arvo, whenever. Whereas you won't watch this one because it'll be on at fucking four in the morning. Four in the morning, yeah. yeah. That's right. Anyway. Um, did you see the cricket today, boys? I did. <laughs> oh, did I? <laughs> Fuck fucking, <laughs> actually, I blinked and missed it. Yeah. So we've had three games since the last episode. The three ODIs. We had Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Fuck, we are good at one day cricket. It's our second string mm. team. Man, that and we was dominate. like, remember this West Indies side beat England 2-1 yeah. in the series not long ago. And we have just dominated in every way that you could fucking even, you know, look at. As a nation coming off that win at the Gabba as well, so the tails would have been high. Yeah. It was and it's just been clinical. They like they mm. haven't they have let's be honest, they didn't make the World Cup, so they're shit. We but should beat them, yeah. We but. have in every way we were five for ninety the other day in dramas and mm. then yeah, Shawnee Abbott comes out, makes sixty odd, also takes a couple of wickets. He did. He and he's a I think Xavier Bartlett got four, I think. Four for oh, seventeen mate. in his debut. How's your first? How's his first one? Well, oh, done, legend. Just seed. How good is that? Just fucking absolute seed. Just good proves we've just got that depth in white ball cricket. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But yeah. Today's was the fastest ODI ever, like men's finish in Australia. That's crazy because we only batted for six overs or something. Six, <laughs> six overs and five balls. We chased Which, down eighty odd runs. Do you know we were yeah. saying last episode? I know it's different because it's not a test. But the next time we play them, I fucking hope the boys. It's just a pumping. Yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. good, even though it's a different format. I'm glad that we beat them like that. If just to be yeah. like right. We didn't take that lightly. No, hundred yeah, percent. Well, it's good that Smith and that Smith played, so he could captain and he could, mm. you know, still be the leader. Yeah, well, that's um, completely different. Him team. and Greeny made a good. Uh, well, they both got seventy odd in the first game. Yeah, and we chased that down with absolute ease, and then, um, yeah, I mentioned How about Sean Greeny Abbott, but screamer in the second. You see that green? Oh, yeah. Did he, you see Marnus screamer today? No, he got um. What's his name? Wild Thing 2.0. Fucking Lance Morris. Lance Morris took his first wicket. Paul Cunt went fucking wicketless in game one. Yeah, I did see that. Um, but yeah, got his first wicket today and it was a screamer from Marnus. Well, Marnus is so good in the It looked a eh? bit, I reckon he put a bit of mayo on it. <laughs> but that's just me. Like, he's dived full stretch. I would not stretch, be surprised. But I reckon he's put a bit of mayo on it. <laughs> Tried to, yeah, <laughs> the big a classic dive. catch. But it was still a fucking ripper. Um, Fuck but no, nah, it, it was. Obviously, I was looking forward to watching a bit of cricket uh, tonight. But That's not, what my thought was too. I was like, be. cool, we'll have it on the background <laughs> yeah. while we're recording nah, so nah. we can be going, oh, again the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And then I was taking an old shit the sub before I came to the studio and I went, oh, okay. <laughs> Keto was already me actually about that. Yeah, really? yeah, he was offended, highly offended <laughs> yeah. that, that we were that we were celebrating over his yarn. Over his yarn, but oh, yeah, I think he true. was more pissed because <laughs> both of his tips that he mentioned yeah. got up. <laughs> yeah, and we shit on <laughs> one, skipped <laughs> over him. Yeah. Nah, but um, yeah. yeah, good to see from the boys. We have got the T Twenty series coming up against the Windies before we head to New Zealand for a Test series. So all the guns are coming back for that T Twenty series, which I think. Because we got a T Twenty World Cup this year, we do too. It's in um, the West Indies and the USA Caribbean. of all fucking places. True. They're playing games in Dallas and New York, and then the rest of the games will be in like Guyana and Barbados and that, yeah, like right. the West Indies. But there's definitely there's a few games, like more than one too, at each venue in Dallas and New York. Are they using like uh, the baseball stadiums? I don't or know. Like I, football stadiums. I went to look it up where they're going to play. Haven't looked it up yet, but. We'll definitely it get on that. Wouldn't be the NFL stadiums. The half of them are indoors. Yeah, like in Dallas, no, so. it wouldn't be. I don't know. They'll they'll be doing something. It would make sense. The similarities in baseball and yeah. cricket. 
to what just... What do you do with all the dirt and shit? Just fucking lay some turf. There'd be some good curators, <laughs> I reckon. True. True. But no, that, that'll be um, good, cool to see that. Hopefully Fuck the knows. US yeah. get out and support it. Mm. Um, so I think that's the reason why the guns are coming back, to like get a bit of T20 into them, even yeah, though yep. it's months and months away. I did, yeah, the squad just got announced and there was a few guns. Yeah. yeah you're right. So we we play this series and then we've got to go to New Zealand and I, I'd say we'll play some more T20s, but. Probably Grubs, just... when's the big money comps go on, mate, overseas? Like after the big bash finishes normally. Do you know how normally you see all those, the guns get bitted for fucking yeah, millions? Yeah, that? that's in the IPL, so yeah. the Indian Premier League. They when's that happen? They absolutely go mental for that shit over there. Yeah. So it'll be, I think it's March, April. Could be yeah. April, May, though. Because it's always, it's always interesting to me seeing what the boys go for. Like who? Yeah. And, and it's sort of like sometimes it's just a matter of some team just literally want one particular cunt and they end up going for crazy amounts. Yeah, well, of that happened a few, like a couple of months back. Mm. That all the bidding happened and Stark went for a, a massive amount, um, which was, we talked about it and we said, must have been Jason me, uh, because he had eight years off. He hasn't played IPL cricket since 2015 because he committed himself to Australia playing for his country and his missus. And now yeah. he's gone, right, oh, I'm available again. And they just went fucking cha-ching and just yeah. paid him a ridiculous Same amount. with Paddy as well, right? Cummins, yeah. Spencer Johnson got a good contract. Fucking. And he hasn't he even is, played for Australia yet. But he's been oh, killing it Good on him, though, eh? Like, a couple of those seasons and you're fucking a lot richer than what you were. Yeah, oh, for man, sure. the amount of money compared to games they yeah. play. Which is, that's the shit part, easy. though, with... Like my favourite formats, Test cricket, and yeah. lots of nations are just struggling to field sides. Yeah, um, there's Test cricket happening all over the world, and it, yeah, it's cranking, isn't there's it? There's a the Test moment. series. Well, I was going to talk about the India England first, but while we're talking about money and stuff, there's a Test match going on in New Zealand. South Africa's playing New Zealand, and South Africa, India, Australia, England—they're like your fucking old powerhouses from yeah. the early two thousands. You know, like. Not so much England. Well but, noted um, nations. India, South Africa, Australia have always been very, very good. And South Af it's basically South Africa A that they've sent over there. The most experienced bloke has 16 test matches to his name. Wow. And it's because the SA20 is on. So a domestic fucking T20 comp. And they're all playing that. Mm. that and I'm just like, one, who's the scheduler yeah. at South African cricket? Scheduling mm. a test series in New Zealand while that's on. And, <laughs> like, at least we have our test summer while the Big Bash is on. So it's in the same country. Yeah. And the test players don't play it un until there's a gap or whatever. Like, Warner come back, played those couple at the end because he wasn't um, playing. And I'm just going, what the fuck's going on there? And... Who cares? Your test players should be in New Zealand. Your best players like, should yeah. be taking your, your best. Your proper test exactly. side. It's just like a nothing series then. So, all right, oh, boys. Well, boys. yeah. This India, isn't the first time, is it, for South Africa? I swear I remember this happening before too. Yeah, it might, it might have. But um, yeah, New where's Zealand, the commitment? New Zealand have just piled on the runs. Right? 500 and something, got them out for like 180 and then went, no, nah, no, nah, get out yeah, there. Yeah, it didn't, didn't enforce yeah. the follow on. Yeah. Just said, We're nah. going to go bad again. Yeah. Williamson got 100. He uh, adjoined the club for 30 plus test hundreds. Mate, so, where does he rank, you reckon? Like, I feel like because he's from New Zealand for some reason, he stays out of the forefront of your site a lot of the time. Like, where would he sit in ranks of test batsmen? Well, it's been him, Joe Root, Steve Smith, Virat Kohli. That's yeah. been the fab. Everyone's talked fab about four. those four for the yeah, last yeah. 10 you know, years at least. Yeah, five, six years and so, williamson's in the best form out of those four as of now it's last good year, that so. he's come back and done that because yeah but that the real story is that ravindra he um mm. he started in the world cup in the odi yep. format but he's made his first test 100 turned it into a double made 230 um and yeah they piled him on got 500 i think they currently lead by 500 plus yeah, because yeah, they bowled him out, skittled him for 160 or something. So she's going to be a tough series for the South Africans, but it's their mm. own fucking fault because they didn't send their their best test team over there. So That's right. good the, luck, my brew. Yeah, <laughs> regardless of scheduling, though, like Aussies would never do that. 
nah, there's no way we would ever say, oh, I'm going to play Big Bash. Well, not, instead. not in any future that I can see anyway. I'm, you yeah. never say never. But not Just in with any, the money in any those future comps, that yeah. I can see. That, sure, is there a lot of money in the South African G20 I don't comp? think. I don't know if it's about money or it must be. I don't know. Fuck, fucks me. I haven't looked into it enough. Yeah. It's definitely about money with the IPL. Oh, yeah. It's like all that. And then you've got that Abu Dhabi T10 League. Like it's a 10 over There's fucking comp. There's so much just spruiking up. Uh, you've got the 100 in England where it's 100 balls. Yep. Like it's not actually 20 overs. It's 100 balls. Um Fuck! What else you got? You got heaps of them, man. Like there's a um, Bangladeshi one. There's there's just so many of them. And for players like Josh Brown, who plays for the Heat, perfect because yeah. he's he's never gonna have the. Mm. I don't think he's ever gonna have the skills to play Test or One Day cricket. The consistency, either, yeah. I don't think. He's he's a shot. He plays his shots too much. Like yeah. he won't have the patience. That is perfect for him. Just get on a circuit, go here, go there. Hopefully get an IPL contract yeah. somewhere Open along the, the line. shoulders, Someone Joe. will pay him a bunch but, of money for two or three months. Yeah. I'm just – hopefully, like we said last week, that that Shamar Joseph and a few of those West Indians, they hang around the test game. Yeah. Well, I think all of us are test traditionalists. Yeah. So we want to see the growth in that game. Not mm. – I'm just – yeah, T20. Yeah. Boy, boys, so boys off the back of the test method. and cricket – I fucking had a huge laugh the other day scrolling through the RRLC. It must have been a post back oh. from after the fucking test match against the Windies. Oh. <laughs> Laughed out loud by myself. And the missus said, what's funny? I told her and she didn't laugh. But <laughs> you guys will and who, whoever's listening will. So obviously there was a heap of edges, right? Heaps of nicks going yeah. behind to the keeper and shit like that. Oh, mate, goes, oh, it was that last game, boys. There was more nicks. In a Greek wedding. <laughs> and I just thought that was fucking brilliant. Like, yeah. I said it back oh, to myself a few times as well. It was yeah. fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just going, I have never heard that before. And I just appreciate a good saying when I haven't heard one. That Gonna was have to, very good. Uh, pull that one out. Oh, yeah. If, if I ever have another game of cricket, I'd definitely be pulling that one out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. And this guy's got more nukes and Greek weddings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so that that was very good. Sad to share that one. A test series that is, um, well, it's got my attention anyway, is that India-England one, mate. There is some great cricket being played over there by both sides. I know it hurts to say, but mm. both sides are playing well. We can respect good cricket. It's one all now. So India have won the second test by, I think it was about 110 runs. Yeah. Um, England chasing 400 in the fourth innings. They made... I think I saw something and it said they made the most runs and lost or, or something like that. It was most runs in a losing side. Like, wow. They made 291 chasing and bat and forth sides of either um, they haven't quite got to 290, but because they've already won the game, if you know yeah. what I mean, they weren't chasing that many. So, yeah, they made. Uh, they made a massive score in the fourth innings. Fuck, I just explained that so dumb. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you'll everyone. fucking work it out. Um, good cricket, boys. Good they, cricket. They went, That's it. They went well on a, on a turning pitch in the fourth innings, day four pitch. Yeah. They fucking they dug in and they went well. I think uh, Ben Stokes is a good shout for Squeeze because he's um, run himself out, really. Oh. Old mate sort of... He's tapped it to mid-wicket, but it was two, three, four metres away from mid-wicket. Stokes, he's just jogging, literally jogging, ball, watching the ball, realises, fuck, I've got to get on my bike here, slides the bat, it's a direct hit. He gets run out by an wow. inch, an inch That's maybe. Beautiful. Yeah. That's fucking I actually, poetry. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to see <laughs> that. <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. Everyone, hey, commentators are going, what was he doing? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yes. On your Stokesy, how Chips. fucking... Yeah. Chips, threw the ball too hot. Uh, How good was Jasper Boomer's mate Yorker? The was whole, it Ollie Pope? Yeah. Oh, so mate, his man. fucking his style would trip me the fuck out, Boomer. Yeah, How yeah, the big straight stiff arm. arm. Yeah, and like he comes just, off about fucking eight steps. <laughs> yeah. I always well. said he bowls like. Remember the game stick cricket on your phone? <laughs> yes, I said he bowls like he a does. stick cricket player. He's mm. um, he is elite man. In mm. I reckon. Oh, yeah. Very you good. know, if you had to take him in Australia, like if you had to pick one bowler to sort of 
take any to any he ground. plays to every condition. Yeah, I reckon when he's he first man. played, I can't remember his debut series, but I remember him coming on because I recognised the action straight away. I went, "That's fucking weird." And then after a few overs, I went, "This bloke is going to be a force." Yeah, man, he, he was young when, when his debut. Do you remember Groats when that Ishant Sharma come onto the scene back in the day? And yeah, like he was he was the last one I remember the fast out of India to be like proper. Who, who's this? Cunt? Yeah, mate, like, that was. was Everyone remembers that spell to Ricky Ponting. This is when yeah, Ricky but. Ponting was in his absolute peak, 2008. And, yeah, Sharma bowled one of the best spells, beat the bat so many times and then nicked him off to the keeper. And, yeah, I can't remember who was commentating, but, yeah, they, they put it uh, really well and said this bloke's going to be something. Well, because he was 19 at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it looks like he swallowed a cricket ball. I remember because <laughs> he had that neck with the Adam's apple like he's just fucking swallowed one. Yeah. And was just bowling unreal. Yeah. Well, Boomer took six for 45 in spinning wow. conditions. Like, that's insane. Not amazing conditions for pace bowling. He took six for 45 in the first innings and that set the game up for him because that, um, well, sorry, sorry. Who set the game up for him was Yashavi Jaiswal, got 209 in the first mm. innings. And Fuck he set me. the game up because they only made 300 and – fuck, I can't remember exactly, but they didn't get to 400 and he made 209 by himself. So fucking he's – good. About time we saw a proper decent fucking high score. Yeah, we yeah. haven't seen too many this summer. seen many runs this summer. <laughs> and well, that's why it was good watching the Kiwis too. Because you mm. had two blokes out there who were both on 120. Just printing. At the sun. Yeah. yeah, that is. <laughs> at one <that's>, point. <laughs> you don't see that very often at the moment, do you? Not here in Australia anyway. So um, that bloke you said he got 209, is he a debutant or something? No, nah, but he's fucking young. Because, man, I swear with India, if there's an injury, no one's like, oh, fuck, this yeah. person's out. It's like, no, no, there's one billion people. <laughs> yeah. He'll jump in and he'll stick a double ton. It's like, when so much depth. It's when they're playing there, I feel like it happens. When they're playing at home, someone gets injured, they just pull someone in. And yeah. because they've played there their whole life, they just know the conditions and they just go well. Well, even that year when they last beat us in Australia, yeah, Bomber yeah, was out. There call. was a few names out, and we were like, "Oh, right, that is might a good be a call. chance here." There was like, a couple someone like Maham, um, Siraj. Yeah, he came in debut, and he was just lethal. Yeah, we we're like, "Fuck see, me, these blokes you... can't stop producing cricketers." You got to remember too, mate. The average Indian man versus the average Australian man just is not as athletic. And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That is not racist. That's just how it is. Like, That's look true. at your average cab driver. You bump into, you'd pummel him. <laughs> I'm serious, man. <laughs> yeah, I can see it's that. How, it's just how it is. But, but at the same they, time, they have what cricket and hockey over hockey, there. Yeah, that's yeah. their main. We've two. got, yeah. and they have billions of people. They yeah. literally so have a billion it, people. It equals out well. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> <It> does. <laughs> that's um, why we have good games of cricket. <laughs> back onto the series. There is that's going to be a cracker, I reckon, because England are definitely up for it, and five. Got, Tests it's four? five, yeah. Right. Uh, an actual series. Yeah. Actual proper format. And I reckon unless rain intervenes, you'll probably get five results too, just how the way they're both playing. Yeah, true. Like that India aren't out there to fuck around either when they bat. So nah, not at all. Yeah, that one was rain over probably inside. won't affect it, but smog might. Yeah, a bit of smog. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, good. Um a little bit more cricket. The Sheffield Shield boys, I've got to bring it up because we've had three games. Obviously, you got the six teams. Three matches, three results. True. Today, yep. All Good inside. Because the Sheffield Shield's only the four days. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh, um, really? Yep. First okay. class cricket's your four days. And there was day four today for two of the games. Victoria chased down the runs. Uh, Tasmania beat the Bulls. <laughs> they chased, uh, chased runs at the Gabba, which, um, look, that's a massive win for Tassie. Benny McDermott, I just got to fucking shout him out because I've always considered him just a T20 slogger, right? He's known for that. Queensland made 282 in their first innings. Mm. McDermott made 146 not out. Nice. Out of wow. 280 runs, man, and well didn't done. get out. Off 200 and something balls, so, you know, he was in there fighting. Um, but he, to top that, Jack Clayton in the uh, – it was the third innings of the game, so Queensland's second dig – Queensland got bowled out for 160. Jack Clayton made 102. Holy <laughs> fuck. So there's where we went wrong. 
Tassie yeah. end up chasing down 228 for victory. <laughs> um, I've just got to check. I know Victoria definitely won today. But, yep, New South Wales also chased down their total of 182. So all three teams chasing runs in the fourth innings got the job done. Nice. Which you don't see. You love to see that in test cricket. Often. Well, Sheffield Shield cricket. Especially yeah, four days. Class, like, test. wouldn't that that change your, um, like, when you declare or when you're chasing things down, knowing you've got one less day, wouldn't it? Like, yeah, change it It would change how you play the game a little bit. Yeah, definitely. It wouldn't change it heaps, but it would, like, Definitely, if you want to go for an outright win, because you get points, because it's only four days, you get points for who um, wins the first innings. Yeah, right. So, yeah. If, that makes sense. If a side makes 500 and bats for two days, like yeah. all you're trying to do is make 505 and get the first innings points, because yeah. you pretty much can't win the game if a side bats for, for a day and a half and, yeah. or yeah, day and three right. quarters and makes 500. So, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, the f- I learnt this. Are you right there, Count? I'm not, man. I'm coming off a bad sickness and I'm trying to not cough. So, yeah, sorry, listeners. It's going to be very annoying. Oh, it's just not good enough, mate. Yeah, don't be sorry, be better. Did anyone see the uh, fucking gaping hole on Tyson Fury's oh, eyebrow? A big oh. hole in his forehead. Holy shit, man. I reckon the bloke he was sparring... Is a good shout for squeeze of the he's week. He's cost him millions, eh? He's cost the whole fucking fight millions. Yeah, but they've, re- shout they've out to him for reschedule. I think still. it still costs him millions, like because he's the reason why it um he got really? pulled out. I heard something Eddie Hearn or something talking about it. Really? Which would be a which would be a piss in the ocean for Fury. Yeah, but after still. But I think um yeah, shout out to him for getting it rescheduled. But I've seen like I've seen a heap of people commenting online being like Oh, yeah, I knew this would come. Oh, right. So you reckon he yeah. literally got yeah. his eyes split, do ya? I've on got purpose. that written what? here too. There's all the these fuck? heroes saying, Fury's done. I knew he'd find a way out of the fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Why would he want what? to get split? How could you even mean to split? Like, it's just I think it's stupid. There was a video getting around. It was like pretty raw footage. So I don't know how fucking real it is, but. It mm. honestly looks like old mate elbows him, eh? Like, not how's, on purpose, how's, but... How's, how's the, all those sort of footage, right, when it's, like, dodgy or there's a there's a fucking um, Bigfoot sighting or there's something <laughs> big going on, it's filmed off a flip phone and no cunts own one for 10 years? <laughs> Where's your iPhones, you mad cunts? Just film off that and we're all sorted. <laughs> Clear image. But yeah, it's um that's that was obviously a really big one. But I think March eighteenth hasn't it been rescheduled till? No, nah, it was May, May. wasn't it? May, May, sorry, yeah. It'll take a while May. for that cut to fully. Oh heal. fuck yeah, man! It's oh, actually it a vagina on yeah, his forehead. They said it was like I don't know forty stitches or something. Fucking mm. hell. It was fucking huge. I think yeah. he's was it the same side that he got cut on in a fight. Because he's I, been cut a few times. I remember man. he got a really bad cut once. And I think Otto Wallen, he yeah, fought him. People thought that doctor was going to stop it. I wonder yeah. if it's the same side. Probably. Um, and then I think once you get that scar tissue built up too, it doesn't it doesn't really help the situation nah. with the splits and stuff. Look at poor old Nate Diaz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky we're only fuck going man. in for a swing and getting the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking oath. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that's good that they've got it rescheduled ASAP too. Yeah. Like it wasn't like right. a thing where it drags on for yeah, a Yeah, what do we do now? And What's that, the go with the fight? But now all the people that are like, oh, fucking, I knew he'd find a way out. It's just like, oh, he can't. It's been rescheduled. Like, yeah. should be different. I could, see, I could see if they were like, oh, he's got a rib injury or he's got something to try and get fitter. Yeah. And he's, and yeah. He, but man, what Have you the, seen how him? the fuck? Yeah, man, that's the next thing I was going to say. Like last time saying he looked a bit big against Nganu. Yeah, yeah. He 100% looked muffin toppy as fuck <laughs> against Nganu <laughs> compared to what he looks now. Like that picture of him now, you go, that's him fit. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's the fittest he's ever been. 100%. Yeah. I've never seen him well, with Well, after abs. his blowout. Yeah. yeah, usually he's got like the big, yeah. the little bit there. You can yeah, just see him. It's still he's Reggie. He I've, almost he looks like a is. fucking A grader at the moment. <laughs> yeah. We'll have the to have a yarn with him. Fucking loser. <laughs> There's just no way he would be trying to get out of this fight 
Pure, my thoughts nah, is it's in Saudi no Arabia way, where he's getting paid how many millions? Yeah, compared to just normal this is fight it. in Vegas. If he beats him, that mm. is legacy just, cemented. The legacy is just everything to him. I yeah, he's beat everyone. Yep. Then I still think he'll have a really good one. But if he beats Usyk, like that's it. This puts him up there as that. It has to be it, surely, because he's not going to fight fucking Joshua. Joshua's done. He keeps like if Joshua you know I mean? beats Ngannou and Fury beats Usyk, <laughs> there has never been a better fucking time. Yeah, but he lost. Joshua lost twice. Yeah, to Usyk and got beaten by but a fat the, Mexican. <laughs> the money fight is those two poms selling out a stadium. Yeah. Like that Wembley is, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, imagine you'd easily get ninety thousand. But I don't. It doesn't. Too. I don't think Joshua right now deserves to fight Fury for I undisputed yeah. weight. But, Fury, but anyway, yeah. there's plenty of fun stuff to happen until then. So who fucking knows what's gonna? Yeah. The best part about the stinking game is fucking. It just gets flipped on its head that quick. Exactly. Because yeah. imagine Joshua goes out there and just somehow pieces and Garnu the fuck up, and people yeah. go, "Oh wow, didn't mm. Garnu almost?" If some people think beat Fury, yeah, 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 you can just flip the whole division on the head. Said that he probably should, maybe should have won. Yeah, he, like yeah. you said, boxing and fighting can just get fucking flipped. But see, I bit. now I think what's going on there with Ngannou properly because I look at Fury's rig compared to what it looks like now. Fury mm. went in, and obviously he's still going to be a gun boxer, but a pro like a proper fit AJ does he piece up? Nganu yeah. because he's taking it seriously and then all of a sudden you think AJ is better than Fury and then yeah. they get the fight put together and then Fury beats him because he wasn't actually fit. <laughs> yeah. Like, fucking, that's just all the shit that yeah. goes on. 100%. Because, yeah, I I don't know if Fury went into it thinking it was going to be easy, but he definitely <laughs> yeah. was... Underestimated. Definitely <laughs> yeah. fucking had a bit of flab going on. Yeah. <laughs> but he always does, so it was yeah, hard to right. see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, I can take a fucking good photo in the mirror too. So, like, it was oh, yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, all. That's, very that's true. a good call. Someone probably put a bit of editing on that. A bit <laughs> <Yeah>. of shading. <laughs> Tighten him up a bit, boys. want to scare you. Sick anyway, I'm running the narrative. I love the narrative that he's just fit and yeah. keen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fucking loser. Get back on the beers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck's sake. What are I you want doing, him, man? I want him to win again. I remember he did an interview once and he said... He had a couple of pints two days before a fight once because, you know, he just felt like having a couple of pints. And I was just like, fuck, that is good. <laughs> because that he, is doesn't Reggie. Have, he doesn't have to make weight. Yeah. So he just yeah. like, yeah, I felt like having a couple of pints. So I had a couple of pints. I'm not about all this dieting and all that sort of shit. Because <laughs> yeah. he's a heavyweight, mate. He doesn't have to. So. Exactly. Mm. Nah, that's good. Um, yeah, we'll there's get a couple of, yeah, a couple of good things in the fighting too. Like that, no limits, obviously, pumping – this year, like the couple of March things, like obviously Timmy Zoo, Liam yeah. Wilson's been announced, Isaac Hardman's fighting again. It's going to be a massive year for Aussie boxing and um, boxing in general. So I'm fucking keen to see Bloody that. Bloody part of it. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> massive year for Aussie boxing podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I refuse to call us boxers. Yeah, we're, we're not a stink. Fucking no we're way. We're stinkers. I'm we're fighting. Say, yeah, we're fighting. We're not boxers. We're brawling. <laughs> we're, we're trying to box, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> not once is this ever getting promoted as come and watch high level box. <laughs> yeah, we're not promoting <laughs> skill. It's Fuck come man. be entertained. It's so That's annoying. Right. So I said yesterday, me and Jace jumped in, did a couple of rounds against each other on the, in sparring. And I went in there and I was super confident from last week. I was like, righto. I think I've come on leaps and bounds. I'm going to slip. I'm going to fucking do this. I'm going to jab. He won't get near me. And then you get in there and I dead set. I feel like a Gumby. Mm. <laughs> you feel like not what you thought you'd I feel go, like bang, coming I in. I hit the pads. I hit the bag and I'm fucking going, yeah, can't. And then you get yeah, in yeah. and there's a moving target and you're like, mm, A moving target that throws back at you. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what is going on in their head? And you're just so locked in, but it's so much shit goes on mm. at once. Yeah. And you're like, wow, right. Yeah. This is very different to laying into a bag, hanging in my shit. We've just got to get in there. Like when we, we are, get in there. we're getting in there once or twice a week with each other. 
And that's what the boys keep saying. They're like, just keep getting in there and sparring because then you'll like know and you'll be able to see when he's going to throw this and that. And it's like, hopefully that happens soon. <laughs> <'Cause I'm> mm. <laughs> sick of blocking him with like me the lads, <laughs> the lads said down here, I've got to go to a couple of gyms down here and they were saying it's literally like footy training. You can be as fit as you want, but you like match fitness is different and that's where the old sparring comes in just getting yeah. in there punching yep. each other getting used to that feeling so yeah i think we're all doing all we can so fucking let's oh, go man. Look the fitness out. thing's obviously going to be a big thing because you want to get to oh, that yeah. third round and still feel like you can do something but it's more just the actual skill of being able to fucking spar like yeah. it's fucking oh can't put any more emphasis on it's a lot harder than <laughs> yeah. not not fitness wise. I knew, I honestly, I knew one hundred percent it was going to be hard on exhausting. hard, exhausting. Exactly. I didn't have any doubts about that. I just thought that it'd be easier to fucking jab Jace in the face. Do you know? Do you know the bit I don't find easy? Like oh, you do a body rip or something on the bag, and you go, yeah, just do that in sparring. But in sparring, I think. By the time I stop, think, move around and throw a rip, he's going to fucking land six on my fucking nose, man. Exactly. You think of all these combos, then you get in there, you're like, well, that's not going to fucking work, one, is it? One, two. <laughs> one, one, two. That's it, eh? Hey? It's fucking... Oh, and then anyway, you're moving the whole time. That's why we're fighting other cunts that have no idea, and it'll be a big Southern Cross windmill thon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're fighting... Anyway, that's it's good. We've got to keep remembering. It's good. Fighting people that also don't fight. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're spot yeah. on with like the whole fitness thing, like match fitness and that. But like, it's so weird how each sport is like a different, even though it can be cardiovascular. You can be quite fit, yeah. For different, like the fitness difference between AFL, rugby league, boxing yeah. is so it's much different. You, it's because you can, you get a break, man. Yeah. Like at some point during the set of six or whatever you're doing, you get a break. Whereas in a two and a half minute round, you you're fucked. You are gassed, and you can't. You where you do you, actually where can't. do you go? That's you exactly what I thought go. yesterday. I was gassed. And you hear thirty seconds. You're like, I can't just you know. I'll just relax a bit. You're like, if I just relax, my head's getting taken off. <laughs> like, but I also constant. think with footy and stuff too. Like you go into your defensive line, you might only have to w make one tackle a set. The rest of it is just moving your body backwards and forwards and keeping yeah. up with the line. Yeah. When you're in front of another bloke, you can't just be like, oh, I'll rely on the other boys. Yeah. You've got to you. have your hands up. you got to be yeah. – yeah. So it's, it's fucking cool to learn, to be honest. Yeah, man. It's awesome. I'm loving it. Um, anyway, enough about us. Fucking mm, yeah, that's right. Fuck it. We say um, too much away to eh? us. Now, yeah, don't give too much. <laughs> <laughs> this is heartbreaking. It's got oh. something to do with the, uh, the punch show, but – the Aussies went down in the Asian Cup mm. quarterfinal to oh. South Korea. Mm. Oh. Leading 1-0 after 93 minutes. And oh. Miller, I don't know his first name. It just starts with L. I don't know Loser. it either. L <laughs> Miller has dived in like, have you seen it? Uh, I yes. just could not believe it when I watched it. Because obviously I didn't get up and watch, but I watched on replay. And I'm going, are you fucking serious? He's dived in inside the box. Old mate is not in a scoring position at all. He's like almost to the um, the byline, which is like the end of the field. He's almost there in the corner of the 18 yard box, and he's dived in. It was a dead. It was a penalty, 100. percent And I'm just going, why would you do that? You've just cost the Reggies four grand. <laughs> It was 96 minute penalty. Yeah, it was a 90. Was yeah, seven well, minutes of stoppage time. Exactly. By the, the time he kicked the, the penalty, game. it was 96 minute. But when he gave it away, it was like 94th minute. Yeah. And Very I'm rough. just like, oh. that is that is so just rough. shattering. And then it to just top shows it off, that, yeah. Top it off, someone got red carded in in extra, in extra time, time yeah. and then they scored a minute after. Yeah. <laughs> well, it just shows us that God isn't real. No. Like we put everything into that. The fortune cookie. If 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 the punting gods were real, that would have not happened there, nah. and all the Russian nomo stuff would have just come off. <laughs> yeah. Nah, just shit the bed. Look, I I wanted to believe in the woo woo of punting gods, but I just can't. So you can't after that, can you? Oh, I, I can't. fucking can't. I well, it was can't. there for them to help us, and they didn't. Yeah, they it teased us. The most us. awful feeling on mm. Saturday. On what on. Having a bit of a punt, watching the races, 
I watched Lady Laguna just steam home oh, and I just look. went, oh, no. Because that was the second leg. <laughs> there was still two, oh. still two yeah. to go. But after hearing Barb's is fucking... Double it, triple it, put everything you got on yeah, Daytona yeah. Bay. I just went, oh, no. Mm. And then that got up. And then and I Meatball, was... like, even though she won by submission, she was, uh, like, as soon as that fight started, I was like, Meatball is winning this in a way. Like, she was just on. I just, I text Jace earlier that morning, or I <laughs> rang him, or I was talking to him, and I just went, mate. <laughs> Fuck Tom and his multi. Oh, I just hope she loses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just never just happening. Just to make myself feel nah. better. Yeah, and I was copping some heat for it. it was oh, yeah, shout out to, can I just say, shout out to Meatball Molly. She lost by armbar twice, right? Yeah, good Went away, that. copped all the heat ever, stripped herself down, got down to a lower weight class, went and did a lot of jujitsu stuff, won by armbar. Nuts. To hey, say, cool. fuck you, cunts. Yeah, good and I'm that. like, that is... Awesome. Like, oh, yeah. how can you shut fuckers up other than doing that like, yeah. anymore? How good's that? That's awesome. Great stuff. And she's a scouser, obviously. She is her and, and daddy. She got her. Um, she got fight of the night or performance of the night. Sorry, fight of the night. She bonus. got the fifty grand. Oh yeah. And they filmed her when she fucking found out, and she like jumped on a coach or whatever, and she just goes. Up the fucking toffees. Oh. <laughs> She's an Everton, She's an Everton supporter. And I was like, Fuck yes. Yeah. It's wild how like they just, you just want to fight. It's all about you. And you and just you go and shout out your club. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I just love, love the it. Scousers and the Poms in that way of, do you know how we're saying we give them that much shit, but you can appreciate their passion for stuff? Yeah. Like the Scousers and that, you can just tell they're proper mongrels. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, oh, I, I yeah. Can appre- and I can appreciate that and go, fucking yeah, they've yeah. got some cunt in them. Having yeah. been yeah. to it's Liverpool, awesome. all that's really there is Anfield and Goodison Park. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a city mm. centre and it's nice, but... Fuck me, man. Those suburbs, it's like I understand why they're so rough and just love football. Yeah, and it mm. is all just about football there, eh? All it is. Unreal. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, heartbreaking anyway for the Aussies to lose yep. for one and then just to fuck us. Look, if we lost 3-0 in normal time, would have been I would have been like, yeah, right. Yeah, and that was a bit of a shit bet. for that bet. Great bet. Great bet. I saw I $3.20 that. value, man. One we, nil with fucking three minutes of injury time, not normal time, injury time to go. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck me. And we beat we've beaten South Korea on many occasions. On paper, they might be the better team. At we least beat him in the final in 2015. We had an amazing World Cup last year. Yeah. The year before, sorry. At so. least both of their guns scored the goals. Yeah, they're two <laughs> Premier League players. <laughs> yeah. <Yep. laughs> um, the Six Nations boys. I know 100. percent None of you will be following. Oh, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Not the listeners, but it's. I when I lived in the Northern Hemisphere for those few years, I loved the Six Nations. Eh? It is like you've got England, Ireland, Scotland, France, Wales, and then Italy. And Italy are like the they're just like the little brother. They suck. Yeah, they don't win a game ever. <laughs> um, and they almost beat England on the weekend. True, it would have just been unreal if that happened, but. It didn't quite, but these games are like, whether it's at Murrayfield in <coughs> Scotland, Twickenham in in, uh, in England, Stadia de France in France, like mm-hmm. it is like an origin atmosphere and you get it every year and there's five games because you've got six teams, can't play yourself, you play every team. And honestly, man, the atmosphere at those games, it's always a sellout no matter who's playing who. Especially when you've got Scotland versus England or yeah. like that sort of Irish shit. Versus England versus England. Yeah. Ireland. Like it's just nuts. And it's like it'd be like a festival, wouldn't it? Because it's like a smaller tournament, but it is. It's like a tournament over five, six weeks. Yeah. And fuck man, it is so Mate, so cool to watch. You talk about his crowds. I was actually on TikTok today watching from the World Cup all the Irish singing um zombie by the Cranberries. Oh, at the rugby world cup. Yeah, oh, yeah. after the game. It's like spine tingling, man. Yeah. It's oh, so yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. Well, it's even like you know how the Raiders took that Viking clap off of oh, one yeah. of the European sort of clubs. Like watching the Viking clap happen over where it originated from is spine tingling. Like yeah. I've seen a video of it where there's like a sea of people all together going, "Ooh!" Like yeah. clapping together, and it's just like, "Oh, yeah. Iceland does it, awesome. don't they?" Yeah, that's who yeah. I think. I think Iceland I'm pretty does sure it. it was. That's prime. 
But yeah. Yeah, there were some good games. Like Ireland beat France, smashed them 38 17, but Scotland beat Wales 27 26. So that was a cracker. And then England were down at half time, but they've come back and won 27 24. It's just such a cool thing because the whole goal is to get the um, the clean sweep, like beat every team. Yeah. And it happens quite often, eh? Because there'll always be one team that's just fucking on. And like, uh, whether it's Wales, Ireland or England, it's usually one of those. Three. Oh, sorry, France is in there as well. Um, the Scots and Italy, the Scots are definitely competitive. Like they beat England as much as England beat them and yep. shit, but they just can't seem to string the five together. Yeah. But the are other there... four, like France got the clean sweep last year. The year before that, I think Ireland did. Like, yeah. It's just such a cool concept. And to see those rugby stadiums packed to the They're rafters, huge, man, eh? they are massive. They're like, fucking huge. 80,000, 90,000. Like, the one in Cardiff as well, that one's massive in as Wales, well. Yeah. 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 So surely the Irish or the French would be the favourites. Well, come. they played each other game one and Ireland smashed them. Yeah, so now the Irish would have to be the favorites. Yeah, you'd think so. Well, they, they were, were fucking flying high in the World Cup. They were number one in the world going into the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, and they kind of got stiffed. Was it a quarterfinal against the All Blacks? Yeah, but you if got you're to play. good enough, yeah, if you're good enough, you should have beat them. Yeah. But I just think coming off the back of that, the form yeah. they were in, it was, because, it was because New Zealand lost to France and finished second in their group. Yeah, that and was And then the Ireland finished off. first and had to play them in the quarter, but you got to play them at some point, so yeah. fuck them. Um, but yeah, don't worry about getting up and watching it early in the morning unless you're a diehard fan. But w <laughs> watch some highlights. I of, probably watch of the good games. Yeah. Watch the highlights and just hear the atmosphere, man. It's fucking awesome. I probably watch more rugby than I have in my life while I was over in Europe because the World Cup was on at the time. Yeah, and oh, like yeah. been in a few Irish pubs when they were, oh, they played someone pretty average. And it was a flogging, but the pubs, they get him rounded, eh? Yeah, I bet. Like, you're sitting there quite, you won't hear much, but then randomly everyone will just cheer, even if you're not <laughs> yeah. watching it. Well, that was the thing about when I lived in um, Austria. It was pre The Premier League was massive at this little pub. It was like an English-style pub yep. owned by the Austrians and that. Premier League was massive. Bundesliga was massive. The soccer was massive. But when the Six Nations was on, man, all the tourists that were there for that week or whatever, they would just come out of the woodworks with their fucking rugby jerseys on. True. And you just put the Six Nations on and it'd be fucking awesome. Fuck like, yeah. Especially the England yeah, that's Scotland. Cool, that especially the England Scotland games. Cause yeah, there's more sense of a rivalry, I guess, because it's all the nations so close. Yeah. There's so much history between all the UK nations yeah. as well. Yeah, it's awesome. Like I said, it's like, it's 100% You make me want to watch it. State of origin. But you get five games and it's like against a different country each time. There'd be such so. bragging rights, surely. Yeah. Uh, boys, we're going to do an NRL and an AFL tipping comp this year on the mm. ESPN tips. Tom, you're going to do both. That's going to be good yeah. to see. Fuck <laughs> you watch the cunt fucking beat us. Oh, man. <laughs> he will just streak in. Yeah, I'll play all yours on the earth. So, yeah, we'll probably do it on ESPN again because it's nice and easy. Yep. We'll get that going in the next couple of weeks and uh, put the code out. But, yeah, that should be good again. People okay. have been yeah, asking I saw one about bloke it. on the RLC. Oh, these guys, are, I've got a tipping comp up. Have you got one? It's like, <laughs> oh, fucking, mate, it's a few weeks away. But it's yeah. still a month away. They so want us to um, – there's a few podcasts that are doing like a, a super coach thing and they want to know if – like against the other podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm just like, fuck, can't do it. Too I busy. personally cannot commit to that. <laughs> no, but yeah. but no, I will love forget. the idea, but I just can't. Maybe if one of our fucking expert super coach listeners wants to yeah. play for on us. Behalf on of behalf us. of the Reggies. Okay, well, I'm open <laughs> to that. All major decisions go He's through got us. A, yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll <laughs> run it by us. And we'll trade say, anyone. Nah, nah, you can't. fucking let us know. <laughs> yeah, 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 people will be really keen for that, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> 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 no, nah, someone will for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But no, the tip and comp, definitely. I reckon yeah. that's a big one. Yeah, both codes, definitely. Yeah. Um, and because we have split the show, we're definitely going to get more into our uh, Aussie rules fucking work this year. Definitely. Which be good. Um, not that we weren't, you know, into it last year, but 
It's hard with fucking Tommy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit there. I just sit there quietly. I don't you sit there and go, nah. when we yeah. talk about Adelaide. <laughs> with the crows, well, it's, yeah. me one, it's me one job. You said, <laughs> Jace. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You said you just said. quiet, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, righto, boys. Well, um, we're going to move into my personal favourite segment on the show, the Squeeze of the Week, brought to you by our good mates at the Standard Squeeze. Definitely one of our biggest supporters, hey, who have been with mm. us from fucking day dot. Um, look, I'm just going to run you through it. They were sick of the age-old issue of taking glass, camping, fishing and fucking breaking it. Don't know if you saw their ad the other day. I did. (laughs) That was a good one. That was Ash, by the way. Um, And it's the annoyance of using a shot glass when you got to pour your drinks. Um, Because, you know, some of us don't just free pour all the time. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So they come up with this standard squeeze, mate. So think of your two-stroke oil bottle that you use to fill the whippersnipper up. This one's made of food-grade plastic. Gives you the perfect pour every time. Um, Go and get around it. Pour yourself a two-stroke and Coke, boys and, and girls. There's a nice yeah. Reggie's discount. You get 15% off when you use the code Reggie15 at checkout on the standardsqueeze.com. They've just got the mini squeezes back in stock as of today. So fucking, fucking make go sure get you, around them. Make sure you get them ready to get your fucking Reggie's four in one to tip a big two stroke and coke yeah. in them. <laughs> fucking no. Exactly. They go together like peas and carrots. Really, if you haven't got one <laughs> by now, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. yeah. You're missing out. Yeah. It's yeah. just. But so you might not have a simple. mini squeeze because they've been out and they're back. Yeah, so you need one mini squeeze. That's your perfect. Course. That is your perfect. Fucking, I was going to say festival, but that is perfect golf. Festival as well. Golf. Boys, to save you's wondering, yes, it fits in pockets and in undies and in the back of things and yeah. people don't notice. So yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> There you the go. The mini is the good. Just a little heads the up. The mini is the goods. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, few noms. I was thinking possibly Stokes for running himself out. Um, who else was I thinking? Fury's sparring partner. Fury's sparring partner. That was a big one. Yeah, um, that's probably got it over Stokes for me so yeah, far. Yeah, I think that's probably me the too. way we've got to go, eh? Because mm. the from that <laughs> Motorola flip phone footage that I saw, <laughs> it was <laughs> definitely like a, an accidental elbow. Yeah, it's yeah. not like he would have went, fuck, I no, hate Tyson. No. But if he's sparring with that big fella, you've got to have some experience. Do you reckon, you tr- do you reckon you're fronting him and saying, hey, mate, um, you got to pay half that bill. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, but if he does, he'll never... cost me $50 million in this fight from earning If he now, does do that, though, he'll months. never find a sparring partner for the rest of his life. Yeah. yeah I wonder point. what the process is there. When you get sparring partners, do you make them sign something and say... Yeah, it'd be some sort you of don't get You don't get paid if you bust me open. <laughs> <laughs> if you stop this fight, you're fucked. Oh, wait, just quickly on that, me. I saw um, <laughs> Timmy Zhu say about his upcoming fight that Manny Pacquiao got him over to spar him when Pacquiao fought Thurman. Mm. Really? So Yeah, Tim Zhu sparred Pacquiao trying to be Thurman. replicate yeah. Thurman. Yeah. So he's that was in twenty nineteen. So wow. you know, Zhu's been yeah. watching how this bloke fights for fucking years. Yeah. It's the Zhu era. Trend. I'm on board. I'm on fuck board yeah. the fucking hype train, bud. Let's fuck go. Yeah. Every Aussie is. Fuck yeah. Appa. Um, (laughs) (laughs) what about, uh, our other sponsors, Tommy? Oh, talking about upper big papa. We're talking about (laughs) caps. We're talking about CTC. The only motherfucker to go to for caps country trucker caps. If you weren't aware (laughs) and we're going to the captain of the week before we go there. Make sure you go to the countrycompanies.com for all the designs Knuckles got and countrytruckercaps.com to design your very own hat today. Whatever you want, design it, get it made, get it ready. Fucking get in there. Fuck. Fuck. This bloke can good, eh? sell. The bloke <laughs> can sell anything. <laughs> sell ice to an Eskimo, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, who are we thinking? So we mentioned uh, one of the listeners, Jackson Slow, Jackson Rush. Yeah, um, yeah, for his fucking awesome thing he's doing with his mullet, um, mm. raising money for mental health. Get on there. Make sure you go on. Get that link that he's got up there. So we got him. We've got um, 
Who else was there? Oh, Boomer, obviously, with his that ball that he bowled to fucking Ollie Pope. I don't know if that's mm. caption worthy, though. Oh, geez, it was a good nut. Mm. <laughs> it was. Um, and then I would have loved to have throw Benny McDermott in there for his 146 not out, but Queensland lost. What so, about the Aussies yeah, just absolutely can't. coming back and pounding the West Indies after our last loss? Beating well, them senselessly into the earth. The like fact absolutely that, yeah. pounding them. Yeah, that was a pounding, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. It was. Yeah, right. Oh, well, hey, up Look, to you, I'm, boys. I'm happy for Jacko. He's kept me accountable on what I said I was yeah, going to do. Yeah, give it to the and Rush, he's doing man. some good things. I reckon we give it to Big Slow. Yeah, give it to Rush, man. Honourable mention, Big actually. Big up a bit. Hang on. Honourable. On this couch, not actually on this couch, but the bloke honouring the tattoo. <laughs> oh, you want to give it to Tom? Oh, I don't know. I could, that could be an honourable mention, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I think we kind of skipped over that a bit too quick. But oh, yeah. Look, I said I was going to do it. I have to do it. That's nothing captain worthy. I'll tell just, you what. It's a fucking great tattoo. When That's I first it looked at it, it is I was a great like, tattoo. Fuck me. It's not small. No, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll tell you what. It didn't fucking tickle. <laughs> uh, There's some fucking deep, dark fucking work get put into that. Good. Some well, you don't want to have fade um, out, do you? No, I've that's had, right. It I've, won't. I've got one tattoo, and I don't think I'll get another one. I mean, I'll never say never. One, it's on me fucking ass cheek. Oh, I could have picked that. And, <laughs> mate, <laughs> fuck me, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and best mate Kingy, uh, who has ribs and shoulder, mm. and you know got got the works done. He said same. He said, "Fuck yeah, that that did hurt." Like even though he's had all that yeah. done, apparently the old the old ass hurts a bit. Well, it's all just <laughs> oh, the old meat. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but no, right? Yeah, so we're gonna Jacko. give. Yeah, I reckon Jacko too. Yeah, Fuck give it to me. him. He's been Good a fucking. Shit. He's been a solid member of just everything we've done for a long time. So yes. yeah, fucking deserves it. Legend. And he's doing a, a great thing. Mm. Um, well, that I reckon that's going to wrap us up there, fellas. Unless yeah. we've got anything else, it feels weird not to be I know. Move, mm. moving this into. This is when we just hype up for a print. But yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I think, and I think it just—it's a good thing us. Sadly, finding out the punting gods aren't real and that it's all up to us and we've accepted that and we're moving on to the next show and we're starting fresh, new segments, new show, new studio. Yeah, We're going to kick ass. I'm fucking parking. Thursday's going to be huge. Thursday's going to be massive. I may not go to work Friday. (laughs) 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 No, I better go. I'm fucking that excited for it. Oh, me too. Wait till you hear our new segments. We're going to involve the listeners. It's all going to be fucking awesome. Actually, before we go, I do have to mention mm. that. So what we're going to do every week is the listeners are going to take us on for the for the year sort of thing. Yep. So we've got our segment called the Championships. We're all individual. We're not a team. We're a Tommy, Jace, Gropes. We're all individual. We get our five units each to spend in that segment each week. And then the listeners get five units a week. So what I'm going to do every Tuesday, I'm going to put up a post. If you like the post, you go into the draw randomly selected you send us a recording on behalf of the listeners for your fucking it's a bets. good idea a bets representative week. each week yeah representative each week for the listeners take us on for the year on the punt so nice. i've already got I'm me bloke for this for week it. because he gave me the idea so i thought i'd give him the fucking the first yeah. one nice he gets it um but from ne- from next week onwards post it in there boom there you go can bet on anything good too. shit fuck yeah I'll explain that more on Thursday, boys. Sounds good, good boys. Righto. Good awesome. show. Had a fucking Great cracker. Stuff. We'll see you back here Thursday, Tom. Drive Too safe. easy, boys. See Righto. You later, eh? All the best.